Hello, I'm Simon and welcome to the CyRob YouTube channel. About a year ago I did a parasitic drain test video and you'll have seen my fluke um, measuring the, uh, the current drain on a car battery. Um, and you should always have some sort of drain on a modern car battery. So if you're not getting a reading on your multimeter, that doesn't mean that you've not got a drain. It could mean that you've got a problem with the meter. Recently, I did another parasitic drain on another car. But when I tried the reading um, again recently, I was getting a zero reading like that on the display. So uh, that points towards the fuse not working. A quick way anyway to check the fuse on most multimeters is to put it onto a resistance setting. This saves you having to open up the meter. Put the red lead into your resistance plug, um, plug socket, and then just bridge the connection to the amp socket. And you'll see there's no connection. It says OL overload, um, which means there's no connection between the two. And that indicates the fuse is blown. Whereas if I do it on my cheap multimeter, so like I say, it's a test you can do on most multimeters. If I do the same test there, you'll see that I'm getting a very low resistance reading, um, which you should be getting with an inline fuse. So, um, so it's time to take the fluke apart. And uh, if any of you thought the flukes were yellow, they're not. They're actually grey. It's the yellow. Um, it's just a yellow cover on them. So I'm just going to pop it open couple of screws on the back don't need to take off the battery screw at the top so it's just these two screws here nice and quick and then uh, we'll just prise it open and see what's waiting for us inside now because these fuses are fast acting fuses you should never really find a horrible smoky mess or whatever it's all clean the fuse has done its job, so um, so that's fine. And all I'm doing here is just a traditional um, resistance test on the old fuse using my um, other multimeter. And as you can see, there's no reading, so that confirms the fuse is dead. Whereas if I do the same resistance test on the brand new fuse that I'm going to be putting in, you'll see a low resistance reading. It won't be open circuit, so um, so there it comes on the display there. So a nice low resistance reading for the new fuse showing that's good and ready to go in back into the uh, multimeter. And don't scrimp with these fuses, they're not cheap. I managed to get these actually for about eight pounds each, but you can be paying up to 20 pounds for these. It's a thousand volt, 11 amp fuse, but check the spec for your particular meter. Don't scrimp on them because it's your safety. And, uh, and then to replace the fuse, well, it's just very simple, just clicking it back into place there, snapping everything back together on the meter, secure the two screws again, and then I'll just need to replace the cover, pop that back on. And once the cover's all in place, it's just a question then of redoing that uh, that simple test putting the red lead in resistance turning it to the resistance setting and just bridging the contact with the amps and instead of having ol overload i've now got a nice low resistance reading showing the fuse is back and ready to do its job again and it's as simple as that so i hope you find that useful and thanks very much for watching 